Let's go meet them. I'm here to give you another authentic village experience and I know and believe that if you watch the previous episode, you realize that my village experience was extreme. <laughs> Damn! Let me know if you have done something like this before. I'm really living my best life, experiencing an authentic village life here in the north of Namibia. In this episode, I'll be taking you guys along with me to meet the world of the strike. So now we have to visit the Bushmen. The Bushmen? Yeah. In here? Yes, they are in the village. Okay. But they are a bit of a drive. How long is it going to take for us to get there? <laughs> After the directions I've been giving you, I don't know how long I'm going to say. Maybe 15 minutes? 15 minutes? Yeah. So I mean, I think which is closer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. we have to go behind the car, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll get behind the car. I think you also get very nice footage. Yeah. You see how yeah. the village looks like? Exactly. Yeah? Ah. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Taking the cows too? Eh, they are going to be sold. Oh, that's a huge boot. Yeah. Wow. We farm with cattle. So that, that's your, also part of your farm. Oh, the one we saw over there. Yes. This wow. One. Yeah. So, in the village, because the village is so far from town, mm -hmm. we have cooker shops around. Okay. They sell your basic needs, like cooking oil, soap bread salt so the basics are in here so that because you know 100 kilometers from here mm. the poor don't have much money so they come and get their basics here they have even alcohol there. yes if you want yeah let me not even promote alcohol on your video <laughs> there is plenty so it after you are done working when the sun is around this side mm. then here it gets very busy it gets very busy and the party starts <laughs> So she's going to um, get some for us. Okay. And then you see. You can taste. If you like it. Is it alcoholic? Yes. But it's like maybe 1% or 2%. Percent. Percent. So it then definitely tastes like palm wine, eh? Do you know palm wine? No, I don't. You get palm wine from um, a palm tree. Uh -huh. So again, you have to drink. In our culture, if you are giving someone food, you must first drink. But that's my money, I buy it. Why did you have to drink? Because if they must prove that they didn't put anything, anything in it. Yes. So it must kill her first before it kills me. What is it made of? So it's made of. Uh, Sogam. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then you just add water. Okay. And brown sugar. And brown sugar, yeah. I think I need to take this to Ghana. You have to tell me the Is it? procedure, you know, how you cook it. This is okay. It tastes a little bit like palm wine, but it's not. You know, malt? 
Mmm. It has a taste of malt. Do you know malt again? Yeah. The beer? Ma no, the other one. Thank you. Yeah. So what happens is, if one buys, then everybody shares here. You so don't this buy. is not for one person? No. So you keep buying rounds and then it keeps going around, it keeps going around. You ah. can't drink alone. Can, can I just go and give it to the Let people? me drink also. <laughs> oh, Everything sorry. Else. You really want to drink it? <laughs> no, you must drink first. You need to drink first for the yeah. You must drink first. Wait to turn on my motete. Okay, to pay now. It has taken a lot of love for land in a new one. They took. meet the sun people can you do me a favor like this video subscribe please i'm begging you to subscribe and help us reach 900,000 subscribers enjoy the video so we are here okay. this is the bushman village the bushman village yes the sand people the oldest inhabitants of southern africa wow. they are the oldest inhabitants of southern africa it's only southern africa or the entire world the oldest tribe. I actually, the same people I read on the internet yeah. that it is the oldest tribe in, uh, yeah, in the entire world. But we just fact check, we link it. And so that people can... Yeah. yeah. But they are yeah. definitely one of the oldest inhabitants of Africa. Wow. And they have lived like this all the days of their lives. And they just love to live in the bush. Yep. Even if you take them outside, they still don't want. They still don't want. I know like that side of Congo, the government had built some houses for them. You know, to just um, bring, bring them, them out of the bush. They said no. <laughs> Few months, they left, they abandoned the houses and they went back to the bush. Wow. Yeah. So they are what? Hunter gatherers. So they, they, they feed on. Uh, they hunt. They hunt for it. Yeah. Like here, they say some springboks, some rabbits this side. They hunt. Sometimes they chase until they catch. Hmm. Sometimes they shoot with the arrows. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go meet them. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I was thinking about you and say, I'm sorry, I'm the woman in here. Eh? This is a gift for them. Eh? Yes. Hey, I'm the woman. Hey, hey, no. Eh? I'm sorry. Maya. Yeah. What? Sorry. I'm the woman in here. Okay. Thank so you. we go bearing gifts. Let's go. So you can see there's there's no compound. You just enter from anyway. <laughs> there's no gates. <laughs> there's no gates. Tamekane. Bangwala. So that's their language. Bangwala. What is? Bangwala kaya. Ah. Mbilima. Mbilima. Yeah. Bangwala. Bangwala. Bangwala ka. Hmm. Hello. Yeah. What's up? I'm Billy Kuya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, they speak a variation of Khoisan. Khoi Khoab. Khoi Khoab. Khoi Khoi Khoab. But in our language, we just call it Oshkwangala. It has got clicks. You probably hear her talk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's up? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. So, we are here. Over and over. We are here. We are here. So I'm telling her there was a time she said she wants to go on video and we must we must tell the people they must bring her blanket. Oh. Now I'm telling her people are here we brought her blanket. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. But the, the, their skin color looks. Hmm. They don't look too black like me. No, they are light. They are all of them are light. 
all of them are light. It's just most of them, I told you, I think we came a bit late. Most of them, they go to the cooker shop. Oh, where are you going? Yes. You are going to go? Yes. So we are calling her to come and greet us. Ah, you are going to go? Yes, I am going to go. Oh, I am going to go. Hey. I am going to go to Madano. Okay, so the elders, I'm asking about the elders. Mm. The elders have moved to another village. So they just move like this. But this one, from when I was like this, a baby, she carried me on oh. her back. Oh. Yeah. Hey. You know what she did? So she, she, because she carried me while I was young, she was my babysitter. She named one of her kids after me. Oh. Yes. So when you name someone after the oh. person, I have to come and get the child. It means it's my child. So where's the child now? She's telling me she apparently yeah. people are fighting for the child, so she gave away. And she's saying she has been telling the people, no, that is somebody else's child. Oh. But they took the child. Yeah. So she's saying very, very thankful for bringing okay. gifts. As you can see how they live. Mm. Yeah, it's very minimal living. Yeah, so we are going to see inside the hut now. Not to Yemen, Dapandu. Okay. Yeah, so she's saying thank you. Okay. You have to enter? Not to Yemen. You want to enter? No, I have to. Okay. So we are going to enter the hut now. Hey, you cannot lean on the hut for they to fall. You bend? You bend? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Oh, it's so cool in here. Is it cool? It's so cool. Very. Okay. So. Oh, it's nice. So warm here. It gets warm during winter and then like it, it adjusts. The opposite happens on the outside. Yeah. So when it's cold outside, it gets warm here. When it's warm outside, it gets cool. Because they light a fire. You see the fire there? Yeah, then you yeah. put it out in the morning, every morning. Then this is their storage. I told you they don't have much. Mm -hmm. They don't store much. It's their sleeping place. It's their storage room. Yeah. So all the, what do they eat then? So every day they go and, and hustle. But hustle is too serious for them. Yeah. They just go and look for food every day to cook for that day. But sometimes, like during pensioners' day, they buy like maybe a, a 20 kg of milli meal, and then they come cook. But there's no storage. If they get meat, then they hang it to dry. Men da pandu, ohani di peni an, umande ni di pe. Do no manda. Eh. So I'm asking her where her bands, where where do they store? And she says she doesn't have. And then I said, where are the fields? Because they were given fields. Where are those fields so they can work? The government. Yeah. And then she said, when one of them passed away, they just abandoned the field and they came to resettle here. Does she know her age? Oh, did you see? So she's saying she doesn't know she's a bushman. She doesn't keep track. But she's definitely... Definitely, maybe towards her late 30s or she's 40 something. I asked how many kids that she had. Then she said she had six, one passed on, now five. The elder one, he has his own house there, just here. Yeah. And then the rest of the four, the four ones, we live with. Kwanyama people like us. Like the namesake. Sorry. With uh, Kwanyama people. Okay. Yeah. And how, where is the mom and dad? Okay, so they are just at the next village. They've moved from here, they've gone to the next village. Mm, okay. Yeah. We'd we'll love to see how the men look like. So this is the father of my namesake. <laughs> where? This one here. <laughs> Say Banuala. Yeah, Banuala. 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 So I'm used to them, they are my people. Yeah, I'm also used to them, they are okay. my people. Now. <laughs> Good. I, 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 you know, the sun people that I know, mm -hmm. what I've seen on media, mm -hmm. they wear something. Yes. 
but he's wearing clothes. Yes. Does it mean that they don't want their culture anymore or something? Let me ask them. <coughs> Tateku, Namen, the bandul. Oh, my dear, eh? Oh, you know, by the Tanjalango. Oh, so the reason why they don't do it anymore is because it's so scarce. So, the hunting of the animals, I think they've because he's old now, he can hunt. Um, you have to hunt and then you have to work the skin yourselves i've seen the process while i was growing up they used to dress like that but now it's so scarce the animals have moved further away they've also just uh, they are slowly modernizing that's why they are now wearing clothes <laughs> instead of the yeah but m most of them i think they they really wear those things more for showcasing now because i think also the temperatures are changing the climate is changing mm. it's, it's becoming a bit unbearable for them mm. so they now just they wear clothes but I definitely know that he knows his age. That's a good one. What is it? Yeah, what is it? Oh, this is He doesn't know, but he's a pensioner. Now, in Namibia, for you to get a grant from the government, you get about $1,300. You have to be above the age of 60. He's above the age of 60. But he doesn't know the exact number. No, he doesn't know the exact number. Um, can you ask him what makes mm -hmm. the sound people unique? Okay. It's na na muli po mu mu muli po inafovayamba. So she's saying it's 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 because of how they are created. They are created uniquely, and they believe that they are different from the Wambo people. You know. She doesn't want to sit really there. Mm. She was going somewhere. She's going somewhere. Yeah, she's going to the cooker shop. Atum Talelege Kamba. So because of how they were created, I think they were created uniquely and that's what makes them. And they are very proud. So in, in Namibia, mm -hmm. to call them Akwangala is derogatory. Like in, in Vinduk, I guess. But here they, they are very proud to be called Akwangala. So here they will tell you I'm Kwangala, like mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. a Khoisan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, from my beginning to my end, I'm Khoisan, I'm on Kwangala. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to know if they have gender roles in here, like uh, these are for men and these are for women. Okay. So yes, they have gender roles. So what happens, for example, is the men collect the wood, but the woman makes the hat. Like that. And then uh, the woman collects the thatch, and the men go in and, and cut down the wood. Like that, so they are gen. Yeah, so generally the women cook unless the women are not feeling well, then they cook. Yeah. So they, did they eat together? Okay, so it's very similar to our culture. The men, if they are a lot, the men eat on their own, then the women eat on their own. Unless it's just the two of them, then they eat together. Yeah. Mikasa Sukasa, let's go into the house. Mendaba, Mendaba, and I'm not going to tell you. What are you doing? 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 What are you um, bead work, mm. but she's been lazy these days. I don't know what's happening. Why can I now only contend with my father when we go out there? Uncle Lupe, can't you see how old you are? I brought you up and look at how old you are. Of course, I'm old. So they make porridge, and this hibiscus roast is what they make sauce with. Oh. Yeah.